Country Station 92.5 XTU. It's Raz on the radio. Drake White is here. How you doing? What's up? I'm great. So how do you say your hometown? Ho Hoax Bluff, Hoax Alabama. Hoax Bluff, Alabama. Yep. What happens there? Oh, man, it's a booming metropolis of about 4,000 people. There's a lot of water skiing that goes on. There's a lot of duck hunting that goes on. Uh, That's country. There's a lot of people living the simple life in Hoax Bluff, Alabama. Well, I will tell you, that song, I have to tell you, I saw you perform that live at the Great Ryman Auditorium, and oh. you're impressive live. Congratulations. You remind me of, like, you know, something that people would have experienced when they saw Elvis the first oh, time. Oh, goodness gracious, Raz. Thank you. I mean, it's, it's that good. I appreciate that. Well, you know, I just, I just love what I do and, and go at it as hard as I can, and, and uh, yeah, that's what comes out. I, the one thing that I read about you um, when we started to play the song on the radio station was that you don't quite perform your songs the same way every time. So if somebody saw you three times in a row in concert and you did Simple Life, yeah. you may change something about it somewhere along the way. Yeah. What, what happens in that process? Well, I feel like I'm a little ADHD for one thing. So yeah. I feel like that our live shows are, that's what I pride ourselves on. You know, me and the Big Fire Band, which is my band, and we, I, I, I want almost like a following, you know, if people come to multiple shows, multiple nights, I don't want to give them the same show. I, yeah. I mean, we, we change it up. We don't do the same set. And uh, we, we test ourselves. We go for Good. stuff uh, each night and try to, and try to get better as musicians. Cause if you're just playing the same set over and over for me, it, it gets stale. And, and, uh, so yeah, we just try to, we try to compete up there on stage and, and just bat, you know, battle it with each other and try to, I, I do a lot of references to Bruce Springsteen, and a lot of people say to me, wow, you really talk a lot about Bruce Springsteen, but I think he's one of the best. But I'll tell he you, the best. It, to be in his band, you not only have to know his so, so many albums, but he could call for any song in any era in any time, right. and you better be able to play it. Now, are you kind of like that with your band and your guys, like, all right, I'm going to call for this, yeah. or you better be ready in case I ever call for this. You may or you may not, but you might. Right. Are well, you that demanding with them? Um, not, not really. It's more laid back than, than that. Um, my guys are, we're, we're clicking as a unit now and it's just mm -hmm. really about communicating. I mean, it's literally like talking up there when you mm -hmm. really start to learn each other. And, and uh, so now we, we kind of look at a set and go over, go over what we're going to do. And we, we have parameters, but we can go as long, you know, we can do whatever we want. Cause right. I might do like a scatter, do a, like a whistling solo or something, right. you know, that's but, cool. but, um, so yeah, it's there's parameters there, but we just talk about it and rock it out on stage. I love the story. Uh, you were a businessman before you kind of made your way into Nashville and country yeah. music. I love the fact that you you had your own truck company, tractor company, and you yeah. did the landscaping company. And you get I love the story that you got your father to retire so he didn't have to go and do his job, but take care of a family business. I, that shows you got a really great heart. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, he's he's my he's my my guy. Like he. I'm, I'm really close with my parents and he uh he worked at goodyear tire and rubber company for 30 years and didn't mm -hmm. necessarily like it but he did it to provide for right. us and, and uh so i had a little landscaping company and when it got time for me to move off to college you know he he was able to retire early and uh he still runs the company today with uh with my cousin so. well that shows what a great person you are and uh, i'm the world's ahead of you, my friend. Thank you, And, my and I have a feeling we're going to be seeing you at these microphones and at these events for a very long time. Well, and you got some exciting stuff happening for you. Thank you. Very kind words, man. Got Thanks. a song out there called Simple Lives. Drake White on 92.5 XTU.